Frozen 2 This movie was released years and years after the original six years later by the sequel I would've been 28 year old man I was keen to busy that year in life but I did see it the movie was just good as the first in 2013 we were introduced to a movie that will change the lives of so many children and parents. Frozen. It became the highest grossing animated film of all time in the worldwide box office. The movie won awards left and right and the songs let it go and do you want to build a snowman? Became household staples. Over five years later and our love for Frozen hasn't wavered. It must be why they decided to make Frozen 2. Haha. <laughs> While in love with the Geekly Retreat I had the amazing opportunity to attend the world premiere of Frozen 2. You can read about that here. I got to walk the red carpet, see the movie, and rub elbows with celebrities. But was the movie as epic as my experience? Read my review below to find out. Frozen 2 movie review Frozen 2 movie synopsis Someone or something is calling out to Elsa, it in a menzel, and she needs to travel to the enchanted forest to find out why. Joined by Anna, Chris and Belle, Olaf, Josh Gad, Kristoff, Jonathan Groff, and Sven, they all set out on an epic magical adventure into the unknown to find out why. From the Academy Award winning team directors Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck, producer Peter Delbecco and songwriters Chris and Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. Frozen 2 safe for kids. Sigh, I will start off with this. I love the first movie. Frozen is huge in my house, but I want you all to have my honest opinion about the second movie. In truth, I walked away from the premiere a little disappointed in the movie. Like most sequels, in my opinion, Frozen 2 is not better than the first. The first Frozen made sense. The story and songs were beautiful. They flowed together to create a masterpiece. While Frozen 2, in theory, has the same ingredients, the story and music are not as strong and therefore the end result is not the same. A great example is Toy Story 4. If you were to think about Frozen 2 not as a sequel but as a standalone movie, it is a very good movie. The animation is beautiful, and the movie does have some hilariously funny parts. Actually, Kristoff, Jonathan Groff, and Olaf, Josh Gad, are the standouts in the movie because of their antics. But some wonderful actors played characters that didn't get a lot of screen time such as Sterling K. Brown as Mashes. So, what do I rate Frozen 2, and is it safe for kids? Frozen 2 I'd give Frozen 2 an A. It is an epic, beautiful, and entertaining film that will do very well in the box office, but it just doesn't have that special Frozen sauce, unfortunately, to get it to an A. Of course, a big part of Frozen 2 is the music. The music is good, but not really as kid singing friendly as the first movie. Great for older kids and adults. More on that below. Safe for kids? Yes, and no. The movie is a lot darker than the first. If elements from the first movie frighten your kids, such as the huge snowman marshmallow or fighting scenes with Prince Hans, then Frozen may second be too scary as Frozen 2 has even more of these elements. I would recommend Frozen 2 for older kids such as 6 years old and up. If you would like your younger kids to see it I recommend parents to watch it first or wait for it to come out on digital so you can fast forward if your child starts getting scared.